Hey, what is up guys? It is Toxic Shadow back here in another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Adobe After Effects Magic Bullet Looks. And this is a really simple plugin to use, it's not difficult at all. Um, so the first thing you guys are going to go to do is you're going to open your Adobe After Effects. This mine, I'm using Adobe After Effects CC, and I'm with using Adobe Creative Cloud through that because I actually bought it. A lot of you guys probably don't buy it which I don't recommend because technically that's illegal but that's fine um, but yeah I'll be back guys once this loads up and then we should be good and another thing guys since I've been doing this tutorial I really recommend you guys like checking out a video on the basics of Adobe After Effects before you actually use it because when I came in here if I didn't have some of my friends to show me what I was doing I literally would have no clue on what to do. Like, I'm not even kidding, guys. It's ridiculous how confusing this is at first. Like, if you don't know how to do stuff. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to import. I'm gonna import this, import file, and I'm gonna go to my desktop and I'm gonna choose one of these. So I'm gonna go to my CS:GO video, and it should pop up right here when it loads. All right. As you guys can see, it's right here. So I'm gonna drag this thing into this little like blue thing right here mix new that all right and as you guys can see when I hit play it's gonna be like a little choppy and stuff like that for the reason that is choppy is because it's rendering the, f the frames that's the whole reason it is all right so as you guys can see how it's super choppy you guys know that blah 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 and then let's say I wanted to go back and you'll see it's not choppy in the beginning like watch it and, or maybe it might be choppy because I'm recording, but usually it will not be choppy. It all depends on what your render settings are and everything like that. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Effects and Presets. And this is where the ma this is where the magic happens. The magic bullet looks happen. Alright, so now it does take a while to load sometimes. Not, not all the time. It all depends on how fast your computer speed is. And because it, it is loading a booty load of plugins, like, and I'm not kidding, it is loading a crap ton of plugins. And there it is. Alright, so now I'm going to search Magic, and then as you guys can see, Magic Bull looks. Now I'm going to drag and drop this onto my CSGO thing. And then this thing will pop up right here, and you'll say, where it says, look, you're going to hit the edit button. And then this should pop up. And now you gotta go over to the left, go over to the left of the screen. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of different ones you can do. And I'm gonna go with like a blockbuster type of look like that. And you guys can always change the gamma, the curves. Like if you wanted to go like this, see like boom, make it like super dark. You can make it like that, or even go back up like right where I had it, like that. And now you're gonna go down to the bottom right corner. You're gonna hit finished. Now your whole gameplay is gonna be like this unless you split a section and have it change to a different type which I'm not going to show you in this t exact tutorial but it literally if you like split a layer like split a line and then you went over to that and you have to drag and drop the uh, magic bullet looks onto that specific one for it to work otherwise you are literally just going to have the same one the entire time and I'm not kidding about that you will literally have the same one the entire time but yeah I hope this helped you guys out and I'll see you guys later.